I'm Daniel Branham. I'm a DP and camera operator out of Melbourne, Florida, and this is vlog number four. On this vlog, we're going to cover a recent shoot I did in Cedar Key, Florida, actually before the storm. So everything you see happened just recently, but before the big hurricane that just came through there. For this shoot, I'm working with Carter Andrews. He has a show on the Outdoor Channel called The Obsession of Carter Andrews. And I've known Carter for about 15 years and worked on his show on and off for about 10 years. And uh, there's a few of us that go in and out of the production, but it's a great crew and it's always great to work with Carter. Yeah, no, we are here in Cedar Key. I'm super excited because I'm fishing with uh, a friend of mine, Matt Coward, Crow Art. I'm not sure, but I'll let you know in a few. But I fished with him before and we caught, I mean, he said, Carter, you need to do your whole one day and one day I'll make this story really fast. Well, we just got to the chute with Carter and he just pulled up. Here's the boat. This is what we'll be working with this coming week. So we're staying at this little funky motel hotel deal. All right, that's me over there. Pretty cool little place. Got the old timey boat over here. And then we have a dock out back. There we go, there's Carter right there. Setting up. Yeah. Pretty cool little place. Wow, this is underneath the uh, hotel we're staying. Pretty neat. All the crab traps. Since this is a travel day, we spend most of the day getting there and then prepping for the next day's shoot. And here's Ryan. He's one of the guys that works on the show. He's kind of Carter's all-around guy. He's checking on the motors, making sure everything's in tip-top shape for tomorrow. Because the way it works, we'll follow Carter in his boat, which is the one you're seeing here, and we'll get a chase boat to follow them with the other camera. There's Ryan, he's prepping everything, all the fishing rods, all the tackle for Carter. He's his logistics guy, boat camera driver guy. He's pretty much the heart and soul of the production. And here we are on this back deck, which is pretty nice. Carter's rigging up all his rods, getting ready for the next day. He's gotta make sure everything is prepped so that when he gets on fish, he is ready to go. And it's uh, a really cool little place. And here, right before sunset, some dolphins came out to play behind the house. So that was pretty cool. We all enjoyed seeing that. Here we have Ryan again. He's putting the boat on the trailer hitch so that we can go trailer the boat to the ramp. And here's our co-host for this week. It's Matt Cowart. This is Matt's boat. He uses this to guide, but we'll be using it as a camera chase boat. So we'll have one camera in Carter's boat and then one camera in the chase boat. So here's what I'm shooting on. It's a Canon C70, my favorite camera on the water. I just really like the way that works for me on the boat. And then Matt Rissell, he's the other camera guy, he's going to be shooting the C300 Mark III. So here we are, we're going through town, going to the boat ramp where we'll put in and get the day started. Here we go, here's the Canon C70 again and I have it set up for the boat. And here's Carter, he's prepping everything as we get ready to take off. So on this first shoot day, I'll be going with Carter and Matt, and then we'll have Matt Russell, 
He'll go on the other boat, the chase boat, and we'll have Jason Arnold. He's the stills photographer. And then Ryan, he'll be on that boat. Oh, there they are. We've already gotten to the spot. And uh, this day was tough for me. I didn't really get to do too many behind the scenes shots. So we got real busy early with catching a lot of snook. So there's not much footage from the first day. But I did get the chance to stop and eat this wonderful croissant, egg and cheese, which Carter made for us. He makes his breakfast every morning, if you believe that. It's the only show I work on where the host makes the whole crew breakfast and lunch. So uh, good day, first day. It um, was very productive. We ended up catching a lot of fish. So that always makes it better going into the shoot with the uh, first day being very productive. We're back from shooting today. We ended up catching about 25 snook, pretty good. And now what we have to do is, um, we have to do a couple cooking segments for sponsors. So what I have going on here, we got a couple lights, just for some fill as it gets darker. And then I'll be shooting on the C70, probably doing tights uh, of all the cooking products and what's happening while Carter's cooking. And then Matt is gonna be on a wider cine lens boat action. So here's a scene right before we're about to shoot. Carter's got his table out. We're going to do clams and scallops and all a bunch of wonderfulness that we'll get to eat later. And there's Matt with the C300 Mark III. And there I am with the C70, my tool of choice. And here we go. Here's Jason. He's going to do stills as he always does. When you go to buy, when you go to buy clams, a lot of times you're going to have a choice in the size of the clam. I personally like the smaller clam. Um, you know, I would say that there are basic. There are more people that know clams know more than I do, but um, I think this is a cherry stone. This size, a cherry stone, was actually a creek. Okay. This is what we do on our downtime here. Kind of the French benefits of shooting with Carter. Day two, we're gonna try and get out and catch more tarpon. So we're getting ready here. Let's see, over here, we have Ryan. He's hooking up the boat. How are you feeling this morning, Ryan? Like the camera answer or the real answer? Give me the real answer. I mean, the real answer is I guess after yesterday, I feel pretty good, okay. better than not having anything and going out on the second day. Yeah, that makes sense. Powerful from a lot of uh, RD. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. Wish we could catch a tarpon or a something, something exciting. Something besides a snook. Huh? <laughs> Snooks are not exciting. <laughs> We're going to get some Kobe or tarpon today. Tarpon. That's just a glorified herring. Armor plated catfish. Mm hmm. Yep. Y'all got enough drinks in your cooler? Oh yeah. We put it in there. Hey, did you did you clean this up just for me? I did. Thank you. So here we're heading out on day two of the shoot, and that's downtown Cedar Key, which probably looks a lot different now after the hurricane, unfortunately. And on this day, I'm on the chase boat with Jason and Ryan, and Matt Russell is on the boat with Carter. So the way we typically do it is Matt and I will swap out boats every other day just to give the shoot a little different perspective. Uh, we both have our different styles and uh, it helps the show overall. I think it gives it two different looks 
and uh, we shoot well together. We've been working together for, I don't know, four or five years, so we know each other's style and kind of can anticipate what the other is going to do. So here I am, Ryan's got me in position so that I have a good angle on the other boat, and uh, I'm just waiting for a fish catch to happen. And one of the things that's difficult about this kind of gig is trying to keep steady. Here you see I'm rocking back and forth a bit. Um, even though it looks as if I'm rocking a lot, I'm actually using my body as a gimbal to keep the shot steady. And um, it's just practice. I've been doing this literally for 15 years or more. So I just subconsciously use my legs and hips to keep me steady. And really it becomes automatic for me. I do it and I don't even realize I'm doing it. It's funny when I see it here, I realize how much I actually do go back and forth. And here's Matt doing a little tackle talk with Carter. That's something we do all the time on the boat. Carter goes over the products that he uses to catch the fish for the day. We're going to fly the drone oh. too, also for running because it's so much better today. I think there's uh, sunny shots. Hold on, I just, I just spot locked it, so give it a second. And that's how it's done. How it's not done. You're all, there's a bunch right there, too. Is that the Air 2S? Which one is that? Uh, Air 2S, yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite. I think it's just well, small enough. Two in a little tiny yeah, thing. it's just small enough, but a great image. Yep. Here's his underwater camera for some underwater shot stills and photos, well, photos and video. And then he also yeah, has a GoPro on the top just for another angle. Yeah, but they mark like, uh... Jason Arnold is a new addition to the team. He's been on several shoots with us now, but um, oh, no. this is a hard yeah. position. This is photo, drone, and underwater. That's three different jobs that he has to handle, and it's a very unique position. It's very niche, but uh, he does it well. And here's Ryan. Ryan's always getting us in the proper position to have the cameras at the right angle for the best shot. He's been working on the show for about seven years now, and we could not do the show without him. He is a very important and integral part of the production. And another job that Ryan has to do is make sure that we can get back and forth over the two boats safely. And then you see here we have Jason. He'll get on Carter's boat to get a lot of close-ups. And then I'll keep my eye on the ball by just always being ready for the fish catch. Ryan and his pets. 
And at this point of the day, we had so many hookups and so many snook that we had plenty for the show. But I always like to keep shooting because something crazy could happen. Something that is extraordinary that makes the show that much better. It was another great day on the water. We caught plenty of snook. We had plenty for the show. No, I didn't get a bait in there at all. Just lift his head a little bit. Just What's that? Lift his head just a little bit. Yeah. So here we are at the end of the day and usually the last thing we do is get some boat running shots and we'll do that boat to boat. I'll usually shoot high speed on my camera and then Jason will fly the drone, chase the boat around, get some really big wide shots and that just is good for scene setting, for showing the boat off which is one of the big sponsors of the show and Jason's really good at that. Alright, today's the last shoot day. We got um, some sponsored spots to do, some tackle talks, and a few tutorials, and just some around the town shooting. So, so far it's been going great. We got all the fishing we need, so now we're just getting all the wraparound points. Here we go. So, we're shooting some product segments, and we got the uh, C70, the C300 Mark III, and we got a product table set up here. With the rods, all of Carter's baits, his fluorocarbon leaders, his sponsored baits. Found this cool little area here to shoot it at at the dock. So usually on the last day of shooting, we do these tackle talks, which basically is Carter going over all the products that he uses on the show and for the particular episode that we're filming. And these are just part of what we do. They're fun. Uh, typically, I like to shoot all the ISOs, all the close-ups, and Matt will do the wides. And then Jason will come in here and do lots of photos. Carter uses the photos for promotion and he also sends them to his sponsors so that they can use them helping to promote their products but uh, at this point everybody knows what we have to do and we just knock these out as quick as we can there's usually two three or four of these and um, yeah they're they're actually pretty mellow I actually will edit a lot of these so I like being there for the shoot so that I see all the content that's being produced and then when I go to the edit I know that I have everything that I need but that was the shoot in Cedar Key, and um, our hearts go out to the people who suffered for the hurricane, and I hope they can get this place repaired soon. It's a wonderful place. I suggest everybody go when it's back up and running, and go patronize this great little community.